Hashavon Duncan is tuned at Rutigan of Anaku Shechat and of the Kumal Fertu Dosha, who Koromanisha is on the Union of Boxer and a Share on the Nalapa. I've always had a, a love for boxing. I used to just go to the boxer size classes and um, they used to have them on every night. And actually, one of the coaches approached me and asked if I wanted to actually come to the proper boxing training because he could see a bit of potential in me and um, with just how I worked on the bags and how hard I could punch. So just went from there. I, uh, I started joining. I was the only girl there. So I wasn't going to join because it was a bit of, oh, I'm the only female. It's full of males. And, but I went and I'm glad I went. It was only four years ago I started. Um, well, I actually took part in the classes. Oh, you're talking over, over 10 years they've been going on for. Um, and I've been just dipping in and out of the classes and going, just trying to keep up exercise, but only started the proper boxing four years ago. The, the coaches there and even the boys that take part were just kind of like, they're like all my brothers now. They're, they're great. There's a lot that have dropped out that when I first started, but there's still some there that continued over the years and we're all so close. And it is, it's, it is a very good gym. Now the horse he trains around boxy, but had the Siobhan and the Kumal for this falling. Can now be a fat person on Chichtalan, a Kamalua, Gary Shin. It was still always fitness, always. I didn't have the confidence at the start to, I would never have thought I would have been where I am just now. I'd never thought I would actually fight anyone or even win anything. So it was always fitness and that's what I just wanted to build on. So I was pretty unfit at the time, so I just wanted to build that up and there you go, here I am now. The more, the more I went, I, just, I was dedicated to it. I went every night, my mum and dad helped me out with the kids and I just, I fell in love with it. And I was like, this is what I want to do. I, I want to start competing. And it was daunting at first, but yeah, I went for it. They only let you compete after a certain amount of time of training. So by the time I got to competing stage, that's when COVID hit. So we had um, what we do is a home show in Fort William. So we had a home show, which that was my very first fight. And I got that one. And then just, it was only a couple of weeks after we entered the, what they call the novice championships. And I won that one. I got to gold home for that. And then that's when, so that was in the November. And then we went down to lockdown in March. So we had to stop, unfortunately. So after that, I think if COVID didn't hit, I've got a feeling I would have went far. My next step was to try and go into box in Scotland and actually box for Scotland. Could the pandemic start at planning in Siobhan's own boxy? I guess basically dying a little lorak on the via Kumal foot. I was out running every day. I shouldn't really admit that I was out during lockdown, but I was. I was out running every day. I had my kids on the bikes. And actually, the coach has actually done Zoom calls as well with us. We'd done them um, classes, so the weather was lovely. So I took the laptop outside and we'd done our classes outside. A fat person boxy in the Sicilian and the Nalapa. To be fair, it's still a bit slow at the moment. Um, so again, we had another home show just there in November. So that was my first fight since lockdown, which I stopped her in the second round. And then a couple of weeks later, I was back in the novice and I beat her as well. It only took me 42 seconds to stop that fight. So, um, so yeah, so it's got me buzzing for more. So there is championships coming up again. Um, next no actually this month march but it's the elites so it means there's no actual um there's no levels so anybody can compete so since i've only had a few fights there can be girls coming in that do box for scotland that have had about 70 80 bouts so my coach doesn't want to put me up against them um just in case you know but but then you never know what level you're at until you try do you so like lara amakama chown the hoof tenic and the boxing she had to least in this more how Big commitment. It's a very big dedication. Um, so I work, I work in a school, so I work nine to three, and then I've got my two kids at home as well. So it's, and I have to actually start, um, I've started coaching as well in the gym. So I coach the juniors. So their class starts from six till seven, and then it's my training from seven to eight. So it's like a second home in there for me. But then again, I love it that much. I don't mind being in there. And my, as I say, my family helped me out with my kids loads. So I've got a lot of them to thank for, for helping me what I do. Has your want or son barak for the nich echking in the boxing? I guess I'm dog who's given skill heikisha, karam to go nila, gusen spars yachang. 
And that's it, just try it. You know, I was very nervous at going in. I wasn't going to go in. I think I stood outside the gym for a long time and went and sat back in the car. But I'm so glad it's just those first steps. After the first few classes, that's it. And everybody's so welcoming. There's there's no boxing's only for for men, you know, it's and I'm I'm hoping loads more girls. I'm trying to get more girls into the gym just now, but it's just those first steps. I think they'll go, I'm not getting hit in the face or but you have to have that wee bit of something up there to want to be hit in the face or hit someone. <laughs>